What is the worst reason someone has used to reject you? Legit, I was too nice. She thought I was a creep for wishing her good night every night. And that one time I sent her flowers to work really fucked me up. Bonus, someone said I was too short. I'm six feet tall, lol. You know, the thing that kills me is that people are dumped because they're too nice sometimes, but usually when someone rejects you because you're too nice, they don't call you a creep while they're doing it. Hey, listen! Hi, I'm Navi, and this is my fourth attempt at recording this video. Hopefully it goes well this time. I'm sorry if the audio is all janky, my microphone decided to stop working with me. Despite all the issues I keep having, I still consider myself a pretty lucky person. Why, you might ask? Well, personally, I have never met a nice guy in the wild. Unfortunately for the members of our subreddit today, that's not the case. A total smackdown of a nice guy. You know what I hate? Men with tattoos who have really sexy girlfriends and go to clubs and stuff. Just because I'm a nice guy doesn't mean I can't have fun too. We can do things like watch anime and play games together. But girls always go for the bad boy and I hate them. I wish women would learn that being bad is bad and a nice guy is good. Tattoos in clubs aren't bad though. Well, don't come crying to me when your boyfriend abuses you, lol. See, you think girls don't like you because you're a nice guy, but in reality, it's because you're an entitled ass. Fix yourself before judging others. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. So you're telling me that men with tattoos and or men who go to clubs aren't nice guys? And because you don't have tattoos and or go to clubs, you are a nice guy? Are you also telling me men with tattoos can't like anime or play games? I mean, all of my favorite gamers have tattoos, so I'm a bit confused by that one. Is having tattoos and or going to clubs what makes someone a bad boy? I... Also, why don't we take a minute to appreciate just how nice Redacted Red is. I mean, obviously a nice guy would tell you not to come crying when your boyfriend abuses you, lol. Oh wait, you're, you're telling me being nice also extends to how you treat other people? And that it's not just if you watch anime and consider yourself a nice guy? Huh. You think getting friendzoned is bad? Imagine your creepy male friend thinking you owe them sex. Owe them? No, it is pure hope. It is a flame that you keep alive by every flick of the hair, every quirky smile meant for him, every brush of the hand, every butt on his body movement. You are using him, killing him slowly by telling him you accept him, but never accepting him completely. Why are you his friend? Oh, I see. This guy thinks that by accepting him completely, that means he can get his willy wet. Catfishing girls on Tinder? Lately, I've been creating fake profiles on Tinder using male model selfies. It's hilarious to sit back and watch all the likes and messages come flooding in from all kinds of women. All of them chasing Chad Thundercock. Oh my god. It just goes to show how shallow the average woman truly is and how much of a glorified meat market dating apps like Tinder are. They usually have a little fun and arranged dates, only to stand the girl up at the last minute. Sure, it's a small victory, but sometimes those are the sweetest. Do you think what I'm doing is wrong, or is it fair retribution for all of the times women have overlooked me? So what do you guys think? Is this guy looking for validation, or is he here to just start an argument? I really can't tell at this point. Either way, it's really pathetic that you feel like you're stronger for standing up dates on Tinder. But hey, I guess when you're as miserable and lonely as a nice guy is, you gotta get your wins in somewhere. 
This was posted on a fact about taste buds. Girls have a better sense of taste than boys. Uh, no they don't. I'm a nice lad and always friend zoned. If the girl I would love to meet my girlfriend always goes for the chomp who'll break her heart, make her cry, and feel worthless. Story of my bloody life. This is one of those times where I'm just gonna choose to believe that it's satire and move on with my life. It's time for our petter mission where I take the time to appreciate which of our pets are currently with me. Today we have a Loki Bean sleeping in the chair that usually Mim is in. Mim himself is sleeping on the floor beside me. And then we have Bubblegum fast asleep in my lap. Hi, I'm Grey Redacted's friend. I'm a bit worried about dating a single mother, but I have seen your pictures and you are incredible. Amazing eyes, your, your figure, wow. Hi, wow, thanks for the compliment, I guess. I'm a bit worried about dating a guy who's a bit worried about me being a single mom. Not a great opener, to be honest. I'll pass. Good luck to you. Well, just like that? Yeah, I'm not hard up for company. Take care. Oh, okay. Sure guys chase you now, sexy thing. Just wait till you're 35 and no one wants you. Oh, sweetie. I'm 35 right now. So you have every right to be worried about dating someone with children, but that's not how you start the conversation. You're essentially saying, you're hot, so I can deal with the fact that you have other human beings in your life. Because children are human beings, my dude. Woman, 24, lured on Tinder date by cold couple who proceeded to murder her. Women and their good choices. LOL. Ah yes, because I'm sure this Tinder date totally didn't come across as a nice person. Just so they could lure her in. You guys complain that women don't want a nice guy. Yet when they have a nice guy and end up getting murdered, it's somehow still their fault. So I blocked a boy from Snapchat because he was weird and he's made a new account to message me this. Got to laugh. Got a bone to pick with you. You're actually a horrible person. Blocking someone for being nice and doesn't go by your looks, that's the shallowest move anyone can make. Listen, girl. I don't flirt with every girl going. So I'm like talking yet judging by you, you seem like a whore. You know, a lad has to be good looking for you to talk to them. That's fucked. Anyways. And then Mr. Nice Guy proceeds to tell the OP that he hopes that all of their family dies and then they die a slow and painful death. What a nice guy. I guess feeling like he had to have the last word was more important than literally anything else. Uh, excuse me, what the fuck? I'll have you know I'm the most respectable gentleman that would treat you so right, like a queen, because I'm truly a nice guy, and then I'm gonna turn around and call you a slur. Guys, don't use the R word the Duolingo owl will find you. Since my boyfriend and I are long distance, we've been playing among us to stay connected, and this came in the mail from him today. Where do y'all find these men? Where do you find these kinds of guys? Yet they right in front of the eyes, and I only be choosing the ones that fuck them over. But it's I. We not enough type of guys y'all seem to think are worst are getting successful. I think these nice guys think that being successful means having a lot of money. I think a lot of people feel that way, but personally to me, success is when you find happiness. Money or no money. Posted by the nice guy of my friend group, the girl he's going after is in a relationship and also very gay. Look. I grew up in the 90s with all of those movies about the nerdy best friend finally getting the girl next door after a long time. But I gotta tell you, persistence is not sexy. It's not romantic. It's overwhelming and frustrating. 
is actually the opposite of persistence that is sexy and romantic. And that's a little something known as respecting boundary. And clearly their friend and the artist of this comic have no idea what that means. I still can't believe I spent $150 on dinner and didn't, yeah, even bought flowers. I'm done being the nice guy. You know, I too am upset when I've spent so much on dinner and I forget to ask for a to-go bag. Oh, you mean that's, that's not what he was talking about? Oh. Well, my chads, that's all the time I've got for nice guys today. Please remember to feed the algorithm on your way out. I've heard she's particularly fond of the like button. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye! <laughs>